have some very exciting news. Today, we are going to prepare our presentation for next week's school concert. Yay! We will be saluting fantastic fruits and vibrant vegetables in a lovely song written by yours truly. Yes, Olivia? Are we all going to be a fruit or a vegetable? Yes. Each of you will choose what fruit or vegetable you would like to be. Can I be the broccoli? It's full of fiber. Yes, it is. And yes, you can, Francine. If she's going to be the broccoli, then I'll be... Is pudding a vegetable? No. Is it a fruit? No, it's a completely overrated dessert. Then I'll be a radish. A radish it is. I'm going to be a rutabaga. Nice appreciation of our root vegetables, Daisy. Now, Olivia. We don't yet have any fruits. How about a lemon? I love lemons. Okay. Julian, it's your turn. Uh... Celery. I'll be celery. Celery? Why not a pepper? Or a yam? Because nobody notices celery. It can just be in the back where no one will notice. Fine. So Julian is celery. Now that you've all picked your food, I will give you your costumes. I'm also giving you a copy of the two lines you'll be singing as your vegetable or fruit of choice. Uh, singing? I have to be a singing vegetable or fruit? Yes, everyone will be singing. That's how we pay tribute to these marvelous gifts from Mother Nature. Even the celery has to sing? Even the celery. <sighs> I don't think I can sing in front of people. What do you mean? We sing all the time in class. Actually, I just move my mouth. I'm too embarrassed to sing. Try singing just in front of me. Do I have to? Go ahead. You'll see how easy it is. <clears throat> uh, look at me. I'm a celery. I can't sing in front of people. But it's just me. Then I guess I can't sing in front of a person either. But Julian, don't you want to be a famous rock star? Well, yeah. When you're a famous rock star, you'll have to perform in front of lots of people. Idea. Close your eyes. What are you gonna do? Just trust me. Okay. <laughs> now, when you open your eyes, you're going to see an audience. An audience? Don't worry, they're friendly. They won't say a word or throw anything. Okay, open your eyes. Try singing to them, then maybe you can work up to real people. Could you leave the room? Sure. I'll be right outside. <clears throat> Look at me, I'm celery, tall and green and crunchy. Rule of life number 114. Be nice to your toys and stuffed animals, because one day they may end up helping your best friend. Why is Julian singing to your toys? Quiet, Ian. I'm trying to listen. Me too, but couldn't we hear better if we were in the room? You're right. I'm tall and green and so crunchy. Use me chopped up in soup or with dip on a scoop. Hey world, I'm celery. We couldn't hear you very well in the hall. You sounded really good. Really, really good. Pretend we're not here. But I can see you sitting there, right in front of me. Hey, I bet you could sing better if you wore your celery costume. I'll put on my lemon costume, too. Aww. I wish I had a costume. I'll be right back. 
Now that you're wearing your costume, you're no longer Julian who's embarrassed to sing. You're a celery. But I don't feel like a celery. Look, I'm a banana. Julian, you need to be celery, not Julian. Walk like celery, talk like celery, sing like celery. Look at me, I'm celery. I'm tall and green and crunchy. Use me chop, I'm in soup or in a dip. I'm a scoop. Hey, world, I'm celery. Okay, I'll try. Look at me. I'm a celery. You're doing great, Julian. Is? Shh. I'm tall and green and so crunchy. <sighs> How did practicing with Julian go? Not very well. Mom, I just wish Julian liked to sing in front of people. Well, honey, not everyone is as comfortable as you are performing in front of people. But I'm sure he'll do better with your help. He'd do better if no one came. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to our annual school concert entitled Fantastic Fruits and Vibrant Vegetables. Look at me, I'm broccoli, I'm green and full of vitamin C. I help fight disease and I'm good dipped in cheese. Hey world, I'm broccoli. Mr. Celery? Psst, Julian, just imagine everyone is a stuffed animal. But stuffed animals don't cough or clap or video debut. Maybe I should just sing from behind the curtain so I can't see anyone. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lemon and Celery for those, uh, unique performances. And thank you, all the fantastic fruits and vibrant vegetables. Can I sing the Lemon song for you again? In the morning, dear. How about I sing new verses? Or I can sing a whole new lemon song so you won't have to listen to the same old one. Good night, Olivia. Or we can sing together. You can be a lemon, too. I'll be a lemon tomorrow. I promise. Sweet dreams. Good night, Mom. Good night, Olivia. Don't worry, Mr. Mason. This will be the loveliest anniversary party you've ever seen. Edwin, come on. Don't you want to play? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Edwin.
Lynn, come on, let's play. S sweetie, sorry, I, c I can't hear. Then I'll go play with Perry. No, I, I promise no carnations. Fetch Perry! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll go play with Ian's goldfish. Hello, goldfish. How are you today? What do you want to do? Ian sure does have a messy room, doesn't he? Do you want some food? Well, I probably shouldn't feed you, even if you are hungry, because I don't know when Ian last fed you. Mom, can I go play at Julian's house? Sure, sweetie. What's wrong with Bernie, Julian? I don't know. I think he might be sick. He isn't eating. I keep giving him flies, and he just sits there. Maybe we should take him to the vet. I'll ask my mom to drive us. I'm here with my lizard, Bernie. He won't eat. Oh, dear. Well, have a seat, and the vet will see Bernie as soon as she can. I wish I could have a ferret. Or a parrot. That would be cool. My mom says that three kids and a dog and a cat and a goldfish are enough. If I had my own house, I'd have animals everywhere. What do you feed him? Flies. Hmm. Well, I think I know what's wrong. I'll be right back. Don't worry, Bernie. She's a very good doctor. Lizards love to eat flies, but I think Bernie might be bored eating them all the time. Like, if we had ice cream every day, we wouldn't want it anymore. We wouldn't? Something like that. Let's try a cricket. He ate it! He looks better already. Guess what, Mom? I'm gonna be a vet. That's wonderful, Olivia. Just need to find my vet bag and my stethoscope. I'm definitely going to be a vet when I grow up. I'm gonna be Dad. You can't be Dad. Dad is already Dad. Oh, yeah. What are you going to be, Julian? I just try to get through a day at a time, Ian. I'm going to start right now. How do you feel, Perry? Hmm, cold nose. That's a good sign. Now let me feel your tummy. <gasps> Perry, you aren't done with your checkup. We'll definitely have vegetarian choices, Mr. Mason. Maybe pasta? <laughs> My, you are very hungry today, William. Oh, no, no, not you, Mr. Mason. Have you seen Perry? No, but Edwin is asleep right under the table. I guess I'll examine Edwin and finish Perry's exam later. I'm going to take William in the yard for a little fresh air. Now, let's see. How can 
can I fix you if nothing is wrong? Rule of life number 31. Most people think animals don't talk, but they do. They just talk very quietly. Maybe you have a pretend disease. I know. You must have furry footitis. You'll need an ice bath and lots of special care for that. Here's the problem. It was your sweet tooth. Come on and glow. You'll feel better. See? All better. Yes, it looks very sore. I have something to fix you up. Honey! I feel better. Olivia is the greatest vet ever. Here's your ice pack, Edwin. <laughs> You smell like strawberry jam. You must have strawberry jam disease. Oh. Harry, come back for your checkup. Huh? <gasps> hey, Olivia, Bernie's still eating. Want to feed him? Not right now, Julian. I have to check on Edwin and find Perry. <laughs> Okay, you're all cured. I'm coming, Julian. Bye, Mom. <sighs> oh, Edwin, you naughty kitty. You had an accident. Hi, everybody, I'm home. In the kitchen, darling. Hello, Perry. Huh? Olivia, Ian? What happened here? Ask her, she's the vet. Perry broke out in strawberry jam disease, and it got on the couch. Right, okay, you two get Perry clean. I'll try to get these spots off the couch before your mom sees them. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping. <laughs> I am. I'm distracting him. Bernie's so full, he's napping. The couch is okay. Is Perry clean yet? Not quite, but I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin, I'm surprised at you. What did Edwin do? He had an accident. Was it a little puddle under the table in the kitchen? Uh-huh. I bet it was just water from the ice pack. Olivia? But he's all fine now, and Perry's strawberry jam disease is gone, and Bernie ate all the crickets. Strawberry jam disease? I have to go now and check on, um, a tiger with some missing stripes. Olivia, one more question. If Edwin isn't having accidents, why was the couch wet? Oh, you'll have to ask Dad about that. Well, I'm glad Bernie is okay. Me too. He's a very special lizard. And you're a very special... Vet? Girl. Night, Olivia. Okay, class. Today we're going to learn about the solar system. Oh my, the eight planets in our solar system are the coolest. How cool? Try Jupiter, but bring mittens. It's over 100 degrees below zero. Ooh. Need to warm up? Try Mercury. Phew. This planet is over 800 degrees hot. Yow! If the Earth was the size of a grape, the Jupiter would be as big as a grapefruit. Neptune is the last planet in our solar system, but outer space is filled with planets no one has discovered. 
yet. Hmm. Olivia to ground control. I'm just passing the planet Neptune. Hi. And now, on to discover new planets. All right, children. I have a little project for you to do at home. Please draw, write about, or create a model of one of the planets in our solar system. Like these, for example, from last year's class. Mm. Yes, Olivia? Any planet? Any planet. Which one's the biggest? I'll bet you can look that up. Can we make stars, too? Yes. Stars aren't planets. No, but they'll make great decorations. Just choose a planet, Olivia. Now remember, space is very big, and there's a lot that hasn't been discovered yet. I'm making a picture of Venus. It's the brightest planet in the sky. I'm going to do Neptune. Did you know it has 13 moons? I'm doing Mars. Or maybe Mercury. No, Mars. Or Jupiter. I don't know what planet to pick. They're all so fantastic. Wow. On Saturn, the winds blow over a thousand miles an hour. Really? really windy. Maybe I should do our planet, Earth. Must do planet Jupiter, where one peanut weighs one zillion trillion pounds. like a lot of work. Saturn is so beautiful with all of those rings. But Mars is red. Great color choice. And Neptune is so big. I just can't choose one. I know. I'm going to make all of the planets. Can I help? Mm-hmm. I'm going to start by making Saturn's rings. You can hold the tin foil. Saturn's rings aren't made of tin foil. They're made of ice and dirt. I'll go get some. Ian, come back. The ice will melt. What about the dirt? No dirt. Just hold the tin foil. It looks really real, Olivia. Naturally. And now we make the red planet. Jupiter! Jupiter is not red. Well, it has a red spot on it. Red spots on a planet? Not spots, spot. One big red spot. See? Wow, that's so cool. Told ya. That's one big planet. Thanks, Dad. Big is good. Dad, will you blow this up? We need it to make Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please make it a little bigger this time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bigger, please. <laughs> a bit bigger. <laughs> like this? How's it going? Oh! oh. <laughs> That's all eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Wow, so we're done? Almost. But I think there's something missing. What's missing? I wish I knew. 
I wish I knew. Me too. Ground Control, I am continuing my exploration of deep space. The final frontier, where no one but Olivia dares to go. Search on, Olivia. Bravely search on. <gasps> Crown Control! Crown Control, are you still there? What's happening? What is it? I found it! I found it! I just discovered a brand new planet. It looks just like I thought it would. We're going in. Hereby name you Planet Olivia. Now we're done. Let's get it downstairs. Let's try it this way. Nope. How about like this? Nope. Uh-oh. Rule of life number 68. If you build a really big solar system, make sure you have a really big bedroom door. Now what do we do? Hmm. Oh, hi, Mom. Can I have the whole class over to my room tomorrow? Olivia? Step right up, one and all, and see the amazing solar system in Olivia's room. Ladies and gentlemen of Hampshire Elementary, I'd like to share with you the result of explorations that have taken me far, far away. How far? Really far. Really, really far. Oh. Come with me on a little tour of our solar system. Ooh. Wow. Outstanding. There's Venus, the brightest planet. And Neptune, where one year lasts 165 Earth years. Wow. And here is our newest planet, Planet Olivia. Whoa. Planet Olivia? It's new, brand new. Oh, who discovered it? Me, I did, with some help from Spaceman Ian. Are you absolutely sure? Like you said, Mrs. Hogg and Muller, space is very big and there's a lot that hasn't been discovered yet. Oh, well then, congratulations, Olivia. Yay! Yay! Night, Captain Olivia. Night, Spaceman Ian. Good crew you have there, huh? You are an excellent deep space explorer. Not everyone discovers a planet before they're seven. When was your first planet? Well, I'll let you know when it happens. Uh, maybe I'll discover Planet Dad for you. <laughs> I'd love that. Night-night, Livy. Night-night, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>